Praise God. Praise God. Well, I'll tell you what. What we have gotten ourselves into here is something that's going to be pretty amazing. And uh, so, so, but first of all, we're, we're getting ready to build something here, just so you know. You guys are not here just to learn how to play guitar or take a guitar class. You can do that on the internet all day long. YouTube's got free videos out here. This is a ministry preparation, praise God. If you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior at this point in time, I guarantee that over the next seven weeks you're going to find out who Jesus Christ is because that's the name yes. given Amen. whereby Amen. all men all must men. be saved. Yes. Amen? Yes. Amen? And that is the purpose of this. Yes. It's to lift up Hallelujah. and magnify the name of Jesus yes. Christ. Yes. Amen? Amen? See, Jesus said, and I if I be lifted up, yes, will draw all men unto me. I believe that's John chapter 12, 32. And that's one of our foundational scriptures for this ministry prep. If you hear the word class or program come out of my face, somebody slap me in the name of Jesus, this is not a program. This is a ministry preparation. Yes. This is an investment into each one of your lives. This is a place yes. where we're going to come in over the next seven yes. weeks yes. and break up the fallow ground yes. of our hearts. Amen? Yes. Yes. All right? Yes. We're, we're a fruit tree for Jesus. Amen? Yes. And see, God's coming looking for a tree with fruit on it. Yes. Amen? And up to this point, maybe some of you just kind of sat back in the seat a little bit, watched other people preach, watched other people get on fire for God, be saved, get baptized, see myself up there uh, playing and praying, Sister Judy and her family up there doing all that good stuff. God has a ministry and a purpose for you as well. From the oldest person in here, whoever that may be, I want to point you out to the youngest person that is in here. And let me tell you something. Even more so for the younger person in here. I'm going to hit that tonight. We're going to get to the guitars and all that good stuff here in a little bit. Amen. But I just want to say this. We are a spiritual church here. Amen. And we are a spirit-filled church. Amen. So you are going to see and hear things in this classroom that are spiritual. Not just the physical part of learning the guitar. But there will be things going on in this class such as praise and prayer. Pray for one another. Anointing one another with oil. There will be the laying on of hands in this course. We're going to be going over some of that tonight. Okay, so we got some permission slips and some agreements that we're going to come into agreement on some things tonight. Amen? So the foundation that we're laying here that we're going to build upon is Jesus. Because the Bible says yes. He is the rock of our salvation. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. He is the cornerstone, the yes. chief cornerstone. Yes. And we're not going to make the mistakes that the Pharisees made and reject Him. Amen. We're going to build on that. And here's what Paul said in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 11 through 14. For other foundation can no man lay than that is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Amen. Now this is where it gets good. Now if any man built upon this foundation. Gold, silver, precious stones, yes, yes. wood, hair, stubble. Mm -hmm. Every man's work shall be made manifest for the day shall be declared because it shall be revealed by fire. And there's going to be a Holy Ghost fire that's going on in this class. Amen? Praise God. Anything that's not gold, silver, precious stones, we're going to burn that up. We're going to nail oh, it yeah. in the cross in Jesus' name. Amen? Yeah. Praise God. So if any man's work abide which he has built thereupon, he shall receive a reward. And what we're going to be teaching y'all is how to build with gold, silver, and precious stones on the foundation that is Jesus Christ. Amen. You're going to learn to build something in here of value. You're going to walk away with a confidence and, and a well-being that you never had before because you're going to be building up a new creature. A new creation of Christ Jesus that is inside of you. If he's not inside of you right now, by the end of this course, you will absolutely know him as your Savior. I guarantee that. Praise God. Mm. Amen. All right. Let's go ahead and, and, and get into this thing because I want to give the scripture on this first. So I'm going to share with you guys a scriptural foundation. And all of this stuff right here you're going to find is available on the website. This book right here that I'm reading out of right now, this workbook, this God book. Is already up on the website. You guys can download the PDF and you can read it right out of there, okay? If you need a hard copy of this, 
let me know. I can get them printed out. I got a few here tonight, but there is a cost involved if you need a hard copy. Everything digital is free. All right. So, the Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him, and I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoices, and with my song, I will praise him. You're all going to learn a song in here. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Praise you, the Lord. Now, see, <clears throat> excuse me, God commands us <clears throat> to praise him, and he tells us how he likes it done. Mm -hmm. And he also tells us what type of instruments he likes, too. Amen. There's a lot of people out there to tell you God don't like music. Amen. That's a lie. Praise God. It says, praise you, the Lord. Praise God in His sanctuary. Praise Him in the firmament of His power. Praise Him for His mighty acts. Praise Him according to His excellent greatness. Now, those are the things we praise Him for. Now, He tells us what to praise Him with. The sound of the trumpet. Praise Him with the psaltery and the harp. Praise Him with the timbrel and dance. That's drums and cymbals, guys. Praise Him with stringed instruments and organs. Praise Him upon the loud cymbals. Praise Him upon the high-sounding cymbals. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Praise you the Lord. Amen. Let's praise God. God Amen. Amen. Anybody ever in here get told to be quiet? Be too loud? Oh, no. Anybody ever get quiet? I told that all the same time. Look, so I see finger flip all the time. You know what? Praise God. He goes, praise him upon the loud cymbals. Amen. Then God tells us to shout. He likes when we make a little bit of noise. Amen. And again, we are a spiritual, spirit-filled church. You're going to be hearing and seeing some things like what they tell us to do right out of the Word of God. Amen. Praise God. So, let me get down to the mission. Alright? There is a mission involved in this. And I'll go ahead and, and, and share again a little bit of, of my testimony. When I was 12 years old, uh, up until that point, I excelled at just about everything I did, sports, whatever. And my dad quit coming to my games at, at the age of 12. He, he made some poor decisions in his life. And what that did to me is it literally just, just took all the life out of me. I quit playing. I quit doing sports. There was nobody there to cheer me on. I mean, my mom and my, you know, my sister was there, but it's not the same. You know, it's when your daddy's there cheering you on. Praise God. So I began to think something about myself that wasn't true, that I was unloved, that I was worthless, that I didn't have a purpose, and nobody cared whether I lived or died. And from that age of 12, by the time I was, I was starting doing nasty stuff at 12, and by the time I was 14, I had my first felony conviction. Amen. But one day, God got a hold of me. About 25 years ago, He spoke this word to me. Praise God. And this is right out of the book of Psalms. Amen. It says, Lo, children are a heritage of the Lord. And I will say that again. Lo. God's telling you, pay attention. When you hear that word, lo, that means listen up. I got something important to say. And, and it's what I'm talking about yes. as meaning here. Praise yes. God. Children are a heritage yes. of the Lord. Yes. And the fruit of the womb is His reward. Yeah. And I felt impressed to talk about that today. That children are a heritage of the Lord. They're not just a glob of cells inside of somebody's body. Alright? God knew you when you were in the womb. The Word of God says that you were fearfully and wonderfully made from the day that you were conceived. God said, you are my heritage. I love you. You're the fruit of the womb. You're important yes. to me. I have a purpose for you. Amen. amen. Everybody should say amen to that. Praise amen. God. Amen. Children. And the problem with today's world, what do we do? We discount them, and we say, here, go on, just go to your room for a little while. Yeah, wrong. Come on, I'm guilty. Amen? That's, that's not how you discipline oh. See, the reason for this whole thing is because God has, has rebuked, reproved, and corrected me Amen. in these areas. Amen? Amen. Amen. Yeah. He showed me my children. They're a heritage. Your children. Amen. They're a heritage. The fruit of the womb is his reward. Now, here's where this gets interesting. As arrows are, 
in the hand of a mighty man. So are children of the youth. Is anybody in here bow hunt? No. Dang, <laughs> you look like you shoot a bow every now and then. You look like a rugged outdoors. <laughs> All right, so, 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 but you get it. You understand the, the, the deadly force that's in that bolt when you draw that thing back on that bow. All right, and when you let that thing fly, you're giving it purpose and direction, and it's going to do what you sent it out to do. Now, does that sound a lot like God's word? He says, when my word goes out, it's not going to return back to me, boy, but do that which I sent it out to accomplish. Amen? So, with these kids over here, I don't want you guys to be listening. I know I'm looking at them, but I want you to be listening to me. As arrows are in the hand of a mighty man, so are children of the youth. These kids right here, if we give them the right direction in this, if we get them started in a ministry, we draw them back on that road, we point to the ministry, the kinetic, and I'm going to use these terms, the kinetic energy behind this thing, spiritual kinetic energy, is just going to explode Amen. when they hit that target. Amen? Amen. Amen. That's powerful stuff. Praise God. Because that's how God refers to them. Yeah. He doesn't refer to them as they're just weak, silent, put them away. They're weapons of war. Right. Let me tell you what God says about them. Okay? First of all, let me ask this. Has anybody ever here got a big mouth? Hey, you praise your hand. <laughs> Amen. Look, oh, I see somebody smiling back sure. against you. You got a big mouth. You pointed him out. Amen. Yes. 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 Somebody else over there. Y'all don't like to speak, right? Yeah, you guys like to speak, amen? Oh, yeah. You like to speak. Raise your hands. It's okay. <laughs> Praise God. You guys, you like to speak, amen? Well, let me tell you, let me tell you what God's going to do with your speaking ability when you catch the need to be listening to this right now. Let me tell you what God's going to do when you, when you get this ability to speak, when you start speaking His Word by the end of this seven weeks, <laughs> amen? Let me tell you what His Word says. Yeah. Happy is the man that has his quiver full of them. Could I say happy is the pastor or father, leader, minister that has his quiver full of them? They shall, they, being y'all, shall not be ashamed. There's not going to be any shame or embarrassment, praise God. But they shall speak yeah. with the enemies in the gate. That's Psalm 127, 3 through 5. Let me tell you, that word speak is a very powerful Hebrew word called devar. And it means to subdue something. Amen. And right now, the enemy has been their gate. Praise God. It might even be at the gate of your household. And your children, might even my children, because I have to work with them too. I'm wondering, are they equipped? To speak with that enemy in the yes, gate. Sir. And subdue right. that enemy. You're when right. they start coming along and saying, I got a little taste of something. Mom and dad won't know. Uh-uh. I used to. Get me behind me, Satan, in Jesus' name. Praise God. You're going to be equipped with something. Amen. Yeah. You're going to learn to speak with these enemies in your gate. And with these people out here in the world with all this mess that's yeah. coming against us. Amen. So, so the mission behind that, based on that scripture, is this. Is to raise up fearless young men and women as children of youth. Yeah, amen. Who will subdue through the word of God in preaching yes. and in praise. Yes. Just as the Israelites did at Jericho. Yes. I want you to understand the purpose of this is not just to get you guys with a guitar in your hand and play it. Each week there's going to be a scripture verse. There's going to be a sermon that goes with it. Oh, there's going to be an altar call every single week for you to get prayed over. Amen. Mm -hmm. We'll be praying for you, for your family, for your success in this yeah. thing, for wisdom, for understanding. Again, we are a spiritual church. We are a spirit-filled church, man. We love the name of Jesus. We love the work of Jesus around here. And that's what we focus on through all that is. So in our mission, is not just to get y'all up there just to play guitar and do like, I want you to get whatever you learned in school out of your brain as far as recitals and all that kind of stuff and how this is going to go down. I've got seven weeks pointed on teaching how to play guitar, but how we get up on stage, what songs we do, how this looks at the end, is all up to the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'm not going to put God in the box on this one. Amen? Amen. Mm -hmm. Because you are God's children of the youth. Yeah. You're his heritage. Yeah. You can speak with the enemy in the gate. By the time this is done, you guys are all going to have enough sense and enough vision that you can say, hey, this is what I, I believe God is leading me to do. 
and then the parents and myself and everybody else, we are going to come behind you in that vision and support you in your ministry. Yes, yes, yes. Amen? Yes. Come on, pray. Yes. Right. We're going to make another praise God. Because this will be your ministry. God preparing you. Amen? Amen. So there will be other things that you'll do. You might not be a singer, but you can get up there and read the scripture and get the message that God put on your heart because there's going to be somebody that comes out of this crew that I'm believing that we got some preachers in here. Amen? We got some ministers of God. You watch. Sure. Amen. Oh yeah. Might might be some of the quietest ones over here. <laughs> Come out again with the biggest amount of fire. Amen. Uh, yeah. Praise God. Yeah. Praise God. All mm. right, Lord. Let me keep it. Oh, uh, stay focused. Praise God. All right. So, well, the next thing I want to do here then that I got on my list since since we've gone to the Word of God and does everybody kind of get spiritually what the goal is, what the mission is on, on, on how we're going to raise up this children of the youth. You guys kind of got that? Praise God.